Welcome to Back to Basics. Uh, today we're going to learn about measures of central tendency. Uh, central tendency kind of sounds complicated, but all that is is finding the mean, median, mode, range, and maybe some outliers when it comes to a set of data. Um, this is a middle school concept that sometimes is really confusing, and the reason why is because these words, starting all with the same letter, makes it kind of difficult to remember which is which. Um, the mean is always going to be the average value of all of your data, and I'll show you how to calculate all of these as well in a minute. Um, the median is the middle, and I remember this one because I think of uh, when I'm driving in the road and I think of the median, the median in the road is always in the middle of the road. And so that's how I remember that the median is the middle number of our set of data. The mode, and I kind of go with the way that this sound mode, is the number that occurs the most. So the mode occurs the most. It's the number that happens the most in our list. The range is, I kind of always think of, well, um, how, how wide do our numbers range, or how, what is the range of this? It's the difference between the um, largest and the smallest values in our list. And then any outliers are numbers that are going to be outside of our data, or outside the main, um, basically a number that is furthest from your data, or something that's way different than anything else. An outlier, or like an outsider, think of an outsider. So it's something that um, is way different than the rest. I'm going to show you an uh, example of how to calculate all of these things using this set of data. Um, if you're doing the mean, like I said, it's the average. You are adding all of these numbers up, and then you divide by how many numbers there are. So when you add all of these numbers up, you're going to get 85. So just 12 plus 11 plus 14 plus 8 and so on. You get 85. And then that 85, we want to divide it by how many numbers there are. So there are eight numbers in this data set. And our average, when you actually end up dividing this, you get this number here. And this is our average or our mean. And you can, you'll sometimes hear it being called average or mean. So that's the 10.625. Now, uh, the median, or the middle number, this is where we have to put our numbers in order, our data in order, from least to greatest. And I always get in the habit of even doing this first, just because you need the numbers in order for median, and you pretty much need them in order for mode. And then it also helps you calculate range and any outliers, too. It helps you see it a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and put this data in order. And you'll notice that I'm going to be marking off um, the numbers as I write them and the reason I'm doing that is so that I know which numbers I've already written and which ones I haven't gotten to yet and That also helps me make sure that I haven't missed anything and as you can see look I missed the eight this this really helps with that it helps with Making sure that you don't miss anything And I have lastly 14 and 14 the other thing, and this is a big trick, this big hint, is count your numbers after you've done it to make sure that you have the same amount of numbers in your original list that you do in your list whenever you put it in order. The biggest mistakes I see whenever people are, are putting their numbers in order is they forget a number, and then that messes up the whole thing. So once your numbers are in order, then we can go and we can start finding what which one is the middle number. So I'm going to just kind of um, mark off ones as I count just so that I can work my way to the middle. Now um, this set of data is kind of special because if I were to go the whole way to the middle, I'm not really actually at a number. So what that means is that there are two numbers in the middle. And with the two numbers in the middle, what we have to do is find the average of those. And when we find the average, that's going to be our median. So the number halfway in between the 11 and 12. Um, that What that will work out is going to be 11.5. So that's our middle or our median. Mode is something that occurs the most. Something that people don't know all the time is that you can have more than one mode. You also might not have a mode. Um, if we had a list of all different numbers, there wouldn't be a mode because there wouldn't be some number that occurs the most. Um, in this case, you can see that I have 11 
that happens twice, I have 12 that happens twice, and I have 14 that happens twice. So actually, in this case, I've got three modes, 11, 12, and 14, because these numbers are occurring in my list the most often. Range is gonna be the difference between the greatest and the least value. So if your list is in order, easy. All you have to do is take your last number and then subtract the first number or the smallest number and that's your range. So our range is 11. Any outliers are gonna be numbers that are far away from your, um, your data set. What you can do is you can look at your mean, median, mode and you can see that these are all very close to, you know, they're higher numbers around the number 10. So if you have a number that is very far away from that, then that's gonna be an outlier. In this case, I'd say that the number three is an outlier because it's far away from the rest. But um, all of these processes you can do with just one list of numbers, and um, they're basically measuring where most of our data is and it gives us kind of a number to generalize what our, our data says. So hopefully this helped you um, find and figure out how to find central tendency and also maybe some tricks to help you tell the difference between these three mean, median modes, these big M's.